All right, so the next thing that I have on here is build a chicken coop to your to your house, or you know, build a chicken coop to house 30 chickens. All right, and the reason that I did this as a second item is because if you already have, uh, you know, your your food preservation, but you never thought about having chickens or having livestock, even if you don't want to have the livestock right now, what I really did recommend that you do is that you go on, um, you go ahead and you build the chicken coop because even if it's not being used by the time you need it, it's already going to be there. And that's going to be an expense that you don't have to worry about then. All right. Again, you're getting $2,400 or $5,200. And um, that could be towards that. And again, that money was not even supposed to be in your pocket. So even if you spent it, it's like, you know, you, you didn't receive it to begin with because you weren't supposed to receive it. You know, it's free money that they're giving out. If you don't need it, right? I'm saying if you don't need it to make sure that you still stay in your house and stuff like that. If you were able to work and not be really be affected by this, then this is the step you should take. All right. You're going to be you're going to be the judge of that. All right. So the next pictures that you're going to see is this, because this is what I do um, with my own with my own money, because I'm very limited on money. You know, I don't have stacks of money laying around. So what you're seeing in front of you is something that we, we try to do in our chicken coop, all right? So when I bought my house, it already had a barn. And of course, when I went in out when I went out and bought my house, there was certain criteria that I was looking for so I can, you know, I checked off the list and everything I was able to, to check off the list. And it was amazing, you know, it was a gift from God. And I'm really glad and I'm very thankful that he gave me this home. Now, this this house that I that I have where I live, um, it has a barn. And the previous owners they had two horses. So what I did is I turned that barn into um, into chicken coops. You know where the horses used to be. Now the chickens are staying there. And what you're seeing in your screen now is something that we're building for the chickens to lay their eggs. All right. So what I want to show you is that you don't have to buy brand new wood, or at least I didn't, you know, whatever I have laying around, I'm using it because I don't have the resources to just go out and buy brand new uh, wood. What you're seeing right here is a plank of wood or, you know, um, whatever it's called, plywood, that it's pretty old. It was just sitting there. Actually, this is from the previous owners. This is not even mine that they just left in the barn and we used it to make the chicken, you know, the, the, the stuff that the chickens are gonna be laying their eggs in. Um, the other thing that you're seeing is this plank of wood. Actually, we took it apart from another thing that we had already built and we're using it. As you can see, the, the piece of wood, you know, it's pretty mistreated, but it's still pretty, pretty, you know, pretty solid. So that's the reason why we used it. And it looks like scrap wood because it is, you know, we took something else apart, what we had, was a, a dog house that we built a few years ago. And then, you know, we had to get rid of the dog. So now we're using that wood. We took it apart. We're using it for the chicken coop, right? You can be resourceful like that if you don't have money. You don't have to buy brand new wood, especially with wood prices being up right now. And whatever you have laying around, you can make it happen, all right? So the next picture that you have here is what is pretty much making the frame and I'm not 100% sure where my dad got these, but as you can tell, you know, they're also used and they obviously don't go there. Uh, they don't go with the with the uh, studs or, you know, the little beams, whatever they're called, that we're using to actually support the um, the frame, okay? Those, those four that you see in the front, those were actually bought because we didn't have anything to substitute it. But everything else is something that we already had that we repurposed. If you look at the wood, when you look at it closely, <laughs> it's bits and pieces but you know once you put it together and everything's screwed together then it's very solid all right um so that's what i want to show you you don't have to spend a lot of money if you already have wood laying around okay so that's why i wanted to show you all of this before i move on to the next thing because that's what i'm doing okay when the pandemic hit if you have been in this in this uh podcast long enough I showed you the plants that I was doing. I was, you know, putting my garden down. I went and bought chicks, 
you know, chickens was, were babies. And then five months later, they took about 20, 22 weeks to start laying eggs. At first, they were not giving me a lot of eggs. And now I have a lot of eggs that I'm just giving away to my alliance and, you know, family members. And so in a lot of that, I'm, I'm storing for later, you know, because when you store eggs properly, which you can either do with water glazing and or um, cheese wax, those eggs will actually last about um, nine months to a year, depending on which method you use. And if you do it right, then that's what it's going to do. That's how long it's going to last. So, you know, all this is extra food that is being added on and added on and added on. All right. So all that can be traded on later on. You know, I did get two different types of chickens. The ones that I that I grabbed was the ones that are going to be laying my eggs. And the other ones are the ones that I'm using for meat. So even if the 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 chickens that I'm using for meat are not laying any eggs for me, later on they're gonna be serving their purpose. You know, right now they have a good life, they're free range, they eat all the bugs that they can, they eat um, the food that I give that I put out put out for them, and they have a good life right now. But when I need them, I'm just gonna, you know, process it and then I'm gonna be able to feed my family and my alliance with all of that. Then um, the chicks or the chickens that are laying my eggs doing a good job so they don't have to fear about going into the chopping block you know so you have to make sure that you keep them healthy that you keep them happy that way they can be laying a lot of eggs for you right now i'm i'm collecting about 12 eggs a day and this is you know now winter and it's cold out here during the summer it was about 20 a day so you know i've had, had a lot of eggs coming through so that's why it's important for you to go ahead and build the infrastructure, have it in place. If you don't want to have the chickens yet, just have it ready from when you do have them. That's why you have to have, at the very least, 22 weeks worth of food ready, stocked up for you to wait for your chickens to, you know, grow up and start giving you produce or, you know, giving you eggs. But you actually, you know, you want to have more than 22 weeks. But you get my point. All right. So I don't continue rambling on and boring everybody you know this video has already gone um an hour and 20 minutes that's before even editing all the pictures and whatever else that i need to put on here um but that's the reason why we're gonna chop it into pieces and and you know you let us know if that's more convenient to you rather than having one big really long podcast and you know me trying to cut it down to just one hour now i can go a lot more time i can give you a lot more information i can speak more freely without having to worry about the time frame okay the man-made survival show